let's freaking get it what is up what is up what is up man have you guys heard what's been going on since yesterday bro oh well i don't know if, if it was since yesterday but i heard the news yesterday um before we get started with this whole freaking final boss news and whatnot man smash that mother effing like button guys we just started the stream thank god it's friday man make sure you guys spam it up up in here sheesh appreciate you guys for showing that love and support let's see if i can pop this up real quick um love you guys so much man how's everyone feeling how is everyone feeling um i'm feeling amazing man the only thing that sucks about this morning is that it's kind of gloomy outside it's still rainy i don't know what's going on this week where it's all just been rain it feels like oregon it feels like oregon i'm not gonna lie it feels like oregon it's been raining every single freaking day but uh it's still a friday bro it's still a friday so we're kicking ass and whatnot so love the fact that you guys are all up in here showing that love and support once again um welcome back guys how we feeling what are we up to today this morning at least uh thank you guys so much for smashing the like button as well guys make sure you guys get it up to 100 likes so we can get this thing running um i really do appreciate you guys bears up in here i forgot to use the bathroom well i could have used the bathroom so i might have to take a nice little potty break somewhere midstream but bro we're kicking ass man it's friday baby it's freaking friday here we go um, who's up in here, man? We got George up in here. Chicago's finest. Ray, what is up? Javon, what is up? He says, Lost and Founds? Yes, guys. Lost and Founds did drop yesterday. If no men sizes whatsoever, um, make sure you guys run it up. Smash that like button real quick for the one time if you guys do want to know a little bit more about that. But Lost and Founds did drop yesterday. Um, I was this close from hitting another pair and ended up just getting my, um, uh, my, uh, my, uh, card jacked. So, um... Pretty much, it went extremely fast. It happened sometime in the afternoon. Um, it was um, on Snipes. It was on Snipes. They had GS sizes, PS sizes, TD sizes, and was it preschool sizes too or no? That's all I saw. I saw GS sizes. So we did see um, GS sizes up on Snipes yesterday. I wish I'd, I should have screenshotted it or I should have uh, done something with... But it went so quick. It went so quick. There was no point of going live for it because it went so quick and it didn't. Uh, no one really knew about it. It just happened. It just ended up happening. Um, but yeah, if you guys would have gone to new arrivals, they did drop them right here. You guys should have seen them loaded up. Uh, one of our family members, I believe Danny was on it as well, man. Danny did hit me up about it. It was like around 430 or 330. I can't recall what time it was in the afternoon for me. But uh, they did end up dropping yesterday, and it was on Snipes. It was on Snipes, and I'm sure some of you guys knew about it, and some of you guys didn't, because uh, when it went live, it flew by. Like, it went crazy fast. Um, again, I tried my best, and um, I got, uh, by the time I tried checking out, I added it to bag. It was too late. It, it just uh, carjacked me, or it just disappeared out of my car. So um, I went back at it, and it showed it was all sold out, so um yeah so it was snipes it was snipes anyway so in case you guys didn't know man snipes gets spotted up crazy but they did drop on snipes but no men sizes no men sizes which has which is why i keep telling you guys we can't rely on these restocks we can't we can't rely on these restocks um you know because even if they do end up dropping man the odds of you guys heading like that are very slim unless you guys are extremely lucky and fast enough to even grab it up um, I'm sure you guys got the notifications on Twitter or some, uh, something like that. So um, if not, then Cook Group's probably got notifications as well. And guess what? They still ended up selling out. Some of you guys didn't even hit. So uh, And men's sizes are still doing just fine. Again, it seems like they're dropping every single type of sizing except for men's sizing. So um, that's, that's why I keep recommending you guys grab it up if you guys can. If you guys have the money for it, make sure you guys bargain for a reasonable price on those lost and founds because, again, do not rely on these restocks because odds are it's going to be extremely tough. And if they don't drop them, well, they're just going to keep on going higher and higher as time goes on. No matter what's the case with the bleeding, if you guys do clean it up. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Johnny Ching says, are you in NY? Let me find out Johnny Ching knows that we from NY up in here, man. Appreciate you guys for tapping in, man. Let me know in the chat where are you guys located real quick. It's been a minute since we've been doing like some kind of like, you know, shout out from where you guys are at, man. Run it up up in here on this beautiful Friday morning. <laughs> Dog Sue says, no men's size. Okay. Whew. Uh, Jonathan, what's up, man? Where did Lost and Founds drop? Snipes. Snipes, snipes, snipes. 
Level up says, good morning, BG. What's going on today? Question mark. It's very quiet, guys. It's very quiet. We're going to see what's the vibe for 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Um, I'm hoping that my lost and founds that we hit on finish line will come in today or tomorrow. That's legit what I'm hoping forward to. Um, I haven't heard anything from them. I'm going to actually call them up to see what's going on with my order. Um, and if not, if they said that they shipped out, well, we can start talking about the final bosses and whatnot because we did see some good old news, or at least I seen some good old news that I haven't seen you guys talk about. And that's how, well, we'll get to, we'll get to that. We'll get that. We'll get that started very soon. Um, but in the meantime, man, run it up up in here for the one time, man. I'm trying to shout you guys out. Um, Johnny Cringe, or I said my apologies, Johnny Cringe. Um, I, I meant Johnny Ching. My apologies on that. Uh, what is up? Shamako Forever, what is up? Jake, what is up? Ray Tavares, what is up? Gabby's Live, still kicking DS, what is up, Dion? Appreciate you for tapping in. New York, baby, there we go. Love to see some kind of, uh, some kind of New York up in here, man. Love to hear it. Um, DMV says Sosa. Guillermo says H-Town. Buffalo, New York, baby, says Wilson. I'm pretty sure Bullrock, I did see Bullrock up in here. Bullrock, what is up, baby? Um, let's see, Mil uh, Billy247 says, uh, Fourth Worth, Texas, there we go, Los Angeles by Albad, uh, Moses Lake, WA, there we go, Jeremy, appreciate you guys for tapping in, Relay NC, um, you guys got the GA from, uh, Child of God, you guys got TX, you guys got, what's good, BG, what's going on, Jay, what is up, everybody, everybody, um, let's see, uh, Dion says, did you go for Messy Room 4s? Um, well, Messy Room 4s will be dropping tomorrow anyway, so, <laughs> sorry guys, I got a little bit of a cough right now. Messy, uh, Messy Room 4s are gonna be dropping tomorrow anyway, so if we are gonna be going for them, tomorrow's gonna be the day for it, so. Um, I will be going live tomorrow either way, so. We got nothing, we're not missing out on no days. Even if there is a quiet day, we're still gonna go live, because guess what? We can still end up hitting on shock drops if they are some shock drops, or just chill out, vibe up. And see what the vibes are, man. Wonton, where have you been at, brother man? I'm good on the lost and founds, to be honest. Ain't paying that resale for cracked as leather. If it was normal though, then it would be a different or uh it would, or I would. But uh that crusty ankle makes a uh makes me happy to pass. Most got for retail though, says Wonton. Alright, understood on that Wonton. One thousand percent, man. I get you guys. I can't I can't say that I'm always gonna be you know, I'm there's not there's not one way of thinking things. There's always going to be a variety of people thinking of different uh, different things for the, for them. So um, if you guys are not digging that cracked leather really much, uh, then if that's the case, I would say wait for that uh, wait for that redrop for whenever they do drop an 85 cut or a, uh, some type of Chicago colorway that's non-cracked or anything of that sort. I'm still going to be going after that one as well. So uh, there's going to be other drops happening. It's a Chicago color. It's, it, it's going to happen anyway. So if you guys do not like the cracked leather on the Lost and Founds, just wait up on whenever they do drop it regular regular. Or if you guys do want another variation of the Chicago color, I mean, those Spider-Mans are going to come out pretty soon anyways, right? So uh, we can actually see a nice little video from Private Selection about them. Uh, I believe I've seen something on the internet about them. So we can definitely tap in with Private Selection to see what they're thinking about these uh, um, these Spider-Man Chicagos. Texas, what is up? Says Soul Real. What is up, baby? JW, what is up? George, what is up? Team Zero, what is up? Sheesh. Um, Pack you, what is up? Thoughts about True Blues? I think they're nice, man. True Blues are very nice. I'm digging them a lot. Um, am I gonna be going for them? Probably not. I don't need, I don't need Jordan ones like that as much as before. The only thing that I'm going for now is our OGs are very much hyped up drops. If anything, if there is a Union One high that ends up dropping and it looks just as good as the Unions before. I will be going for those as well, right? I'm sure you guys have been hearing all the rumors about Union 1s. You guys can let me know. Um, I don't know how accurate it's going to be, but uh, just know if they do drop some Union 1 highs, that would go crazy as well. Seems like the hype within Union... Uh, I was going to say the hype within Union, but this, the hype within Jordan 1s, as of late, they could be coming back. Do you guys see something about that coming back? I feel like they've been dropping a lot of good heat for Union 1s. Either that or at least the collaborations are going crazy. The collaborations sound pretty freaking dope. Um, Yeah, I, I would say because uh, I've, I've been hearing a lot of people talk more about once than, uh, than ever as of late. Uh, Yeah, you going for the true blue PG? Nah, I'm, I'm going to be passing on them. Most likely, most likely. I can't say, I can't say that I'm definitely going to be passing up on them because that could change on the day of the drop. 
it could change. Also, guys, I did or I will be dropping you guys a uh, TikTok short within the stream. So if you guys are trying to tap in on that and trying to gain up on some giveaway entries, again, I should be picking one video that I will be dropping from this month uh, for you guys to have free entries on a giveaway that we will be doing by the end of this month. So um, if you guys want to do that, you guys can. It's going to help me out and it's going to help you guys out on these entries. Uh, so yeah, just giving you guys a heads up. I will be dropping more frequent TikToks, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be dropping them midstream, so that way you guys can run it up and you guys don't miss out on them as well. Uh, but it's pretty freaking dope. Uh, Dion says, if he was on stream yesterday, um, if he was on the stream yesterday, he would have seen the one black ankle lost and found. Says uh, Dion, yeah, for sure. I keep forgetting that was yesterday too. <laughs> Crazy. Um, Lewis says, I hope since uh, I hope since so many people see the upcoming Spider Mans are ugly, don't go for them um the way i get uh the way i can get them lol uh we'll see if people are capping when they drop says lewis even when people say that they don't like a shoe they still go for it because of the initial hype i think we mentioned it all before um even if it's not the best looking spider-man uh jordan one i would say it's still it's still gonna sell out it's a marvel shoe and the marvel fans are crazy Mar there's a great great amount of marvel fans worldwide so it's going to be inevitable for this shoe to just stay sitting. It's going to be selling out. Um, the more I look at it, honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie, man. The more I look at it, the more I like it. The more I actually like it. I'm a huge fan of Spider-Man 2, man. I've seen almost every single movie. If not, I've been, I even read the... Uh, nah, I can't even say I read the comics. I'm, I'm bugging out on that. But um, I do I do like Spider-Man. I do like Spider-Man. I'm not going to lie. So the more I see it, if I can have something that has to do with Spider-Man, I think I'm going to go for him. I think I will be going for him even... If I don't like them as much as I do with the like these bad boys, Spider Man, Jordan ones. Which ones are they again? The um, the origin story. This is it right here. Obviously, it's not gonna top this one because this one looks pretty much like a Chicago, just a different. I don't know, like a, just a small little smidge of a difference, which is I see bottoms and those little like dots throughout the whole entire shoe, right? And probably the leather, uh, the the quality on this shoe looks pretty on point too. I'm seeing this part, this part of the shoe looking nice and, and tumbled, but I can't tell because I've never owned the shoe, and I don't think pictures do it justice like that. Um, anyways, I'm hearing that these shoes look ten times better in person. And I have seen them in person, just not like in hand, like right there next to my face. I wish though. Shiz, uh, Jonathan says. People are saying that they're not gonna go. Uh, they're not gonna go for it. Look at the um, original Spider-Man joints. Everyone was like, um, everyone was like, they're trash. Then heard they were limited and went for them so quick. Says Jonathan. I bet. I bet. Um, I can't recall which year these dropped on. 2018. Okay. 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 Sheesh. So yeah, I pretty much probably went for these and I just couldn't remember. This is the same year that I actually started going for shoes on Sneakers app and stuff. So, um, if these did drop on Sneakers app, definitely do not remember whatsoever um damn that, that must have been crazy bg what's cooking today says artistic energy what's going down man not much man just chilling vibing up a storm man enjoying our lovely friday morning man it's a blessing to go live each and every single morning with you guys man so thank you guys so much um guys we do have 160 lovely family members up in here would you guys please mind and smash that uh that like button and get it up to 100 likes asap no rocky that would be extremely appreciative um, once we get it, uh, once we get it up to 100 likes, we won't even bother you guys anymore. But having 100 likes does help us out 1,000 uh, percent. BG, been a minute since I tuned in. Lots of prosperity for the new year to you and your family. Much love and support to go. Same thing, likewise. And we're bringing all that positivity right back to you guys. Um, let's see, Kevin. Uh, Kevin says, "Yo, yo, GS only for what, Kevin? For which one? Um, if you guys are talking about for Lost and Founds, um, it was only GS." I believe PS and TDs. It was like only like three sizes. I can't recall, but I know for a fact it wasn't men's sizing. I know for a fact it was not men's sizing. Um, let's see. Let me get back to the chat. Sorry, I can't see the chat. Whenever I do a poll, it just hides the whole chat. Um, JJ says lost and founds yesterday. Where do they drop? LOL snipes. Uh, Billy twenty four seven says at BG kicks. If uh you do decide to grab some Spider Man comics. Um, to stash with the shoes and go uh, go see my dude Jimmy over at uh, Montesi Comics on 5th Ave. I think I've been there before. Wait, is he around like 67th or uh, I feel like he's around 70th, 70th Street? Or are we talking about a different 5th Ave? Because there's plenty of 5th Aves up, up in here in New York. It's just we're talking about the same 5th. 
Are you talking about Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn or are you talking about Fifth Avenue in the city? Um, Indigo says, BG, only the show, uh, only show I'm interested in today is the concept X New Balance. Kind of fire, no cap. Only show, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Only show or only shoe? Hold up. Let me see what the vibes are for today on, uh, on, you said, uh, you said it was concepts? Concept X New Balance, kind of, uh, fire shoe, no cap. Kind of fire. Those are dropping today? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ooh, are we talking about these bad boys right here, the 9060s? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Coming soon. Are we talking about these bad boys? I heard something about them dropping. I just didn't know it was going to be today. Are we talking about these bad boys? Uh, Chico, uh, Chris Co, what's going on, man? I was about to call you Chico Co. Uh, Chris Co, what's going on? He says, good morning. Everyone stay blessed. Bless up to the fullest. Young, what is up, man? Appreciate you for tapping in. I got a family size run on Lost and Founds, and I'm going to need a full size run on those new Spider-Man joints. Man, those Spider-Man joints, like I said before, man, I might have been hating on them in the beginning, but I, I'm st they're starting to creep up on me. They're start I, I start I'm starting to, to dig them even more. Uh, Michael, what is up, baby? Appreciate you for tapping in. He says, I love the blue gum bottoms on those. Uh, what's dropping today, BG? It seems quiet on my side, man. I'm not going to lie, guys. If there was anything to go for today, I feel like I would have been on it. Um, but it's very quiet today. There's not much going down. <laughs> Uh, the Spider-Mans with the different materials are but ugly, says Ray. Well, we can look them up real quick for the one time. Hold up. Let me see. Uh, Spider-Man, what are they called? Into the Multi-Universe or something like that? Multi-Universe? Multi-U? Into the U? I don't know. I don't even know what they're called, man. 2023. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll see. Spider-Man 2023. No, not Spider- The Sneakers. Hold up. Across spider what the heck are they called? Spider across the uh, Spider Verse? Is that what they're called? Because I can't even crawl off the top of my head. They sound like a, a freaking movie. They sound like they're making a movie out of this shoe. Um, let me see real quick. It does sound like a movie. Low key. Spider across the Spider Verse 2. Yo, that was a movie, wasn't it? Yo, I'm tripping out. Okay. Uh, Jordan 1 video let's do i gotta see this i gotta see sink is side is there any private selection does private selection have these should we tap in with private selections video i hope i don't get copyright for it i hope we don't get copyright for it i wish there was a tiktok twitter what would you change okay let's see this let's see this this is a twitter video twitter that could pass there we go i think these are it right Hopefully they're real though. Again, I'm so bad with the names when it comes down to Spider-Man. So my apologies on that. There's so many of them that I could be getting confused. But hopefully I don't get clipped on this one. But this is a small little snippet. A nice little snippet of the upcoming Spider-Mans from what it seems like. They don't look bad, man. They don't look bad. What you guys think? A scale of 1 to, to, uh, one to 10 at, on... On this clip alone, what would you guys rank these? I'm going to say they're a solid 7. They're a solid 7. They're not flat out the best Jordan 1 out there, but just having it, just knowing that it has to do with Spider-Man, to me, makes you want to cop it. It makes me, like, you know, somewhat pass on the different materials, somewhat pass on the diff, uh, on the variety of things that's going on up here. Because it's a lot going on, low-key. It's a lot going on. I can't even tell if the swoosh is, like, patent or something. I think it might be patent on the swoosh. <laughs> Caddy says it's the new movie coming out. Uh, let's see. Ryan says good morning, BG and fam. Wonton says they're inspired by the movie. LOL. Okay, there we go. Uh, link the video in the description if you use it. it says I'm Gucci. Even if I do link it, it's probably gonna clip me out. Or it's probably gonna like uh it because last time I used a video I still gave them the credits and they still like booted me out. Uh, Sir Joey Stack says one. Oh my God, just the one, bro. Really? What a cup up says one. What's up? What a cut up. My apologies on the on the uh on the botching today, guys. My lips have not been working as good as they were yesterday. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like I'm like stuttering. You know, I can't pronounce words correctly today. 
It's crazy. Team Joe says, I like him. Ray says, 3 out of 10. Gabby Slav says, 5. Devive says, 2. Normax says, 3. Outbat says, I'm going to pass. Wanta says, much better in hand, to be honest. But still. Um, Sosa says, 5. Guillermo says, 7.5. Oh, my apologies, guys. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to do this. The internet connection is probably looking wacky right now. Hopefully, this out of help it. Hopefully, this out of help. Sorry, guys. I never connected the Ethernet cable. Those that don't know, we're starting to use Ethernet cable on the laptop too. So we're we're improving here. We're improving here. Uh, Guillermo says seven point five. Wanton says solid four. Crisco says just because they're rare, seven point five. Lewis says chill, BG. Don't convince anyone to like them. LOL. But here's the thing, though. I feel like we have to. We have to speak about the shoes that are coming up. This is one of them, and I feel like people are gonna sleep on on them. And I would hope for them to actually like the shoe, and for them to not so much like you know, do what I did from last time and probably sleep on a Spider-Man shoe and boom, regret it later on. Um, I'm sure with the movie coming out, if this is inspired for the next movie to come, I'm sure with the movie to come, this hand in hand will go up in value over time as well. So it's going to be extremely tough for you guys to even pass up on those because you guys will be paying a nice little price tag afterwards. Ray says it's a love, hate, uh, it's love them or hate them pair type of thing. Pause says junior. Uh, what's up, BG? Just tuning in before work. That's what's up, man. Blessings up, man. Happy freaking Friday to all you guys, man. Lost and Founds dropped yesterday, question mark. They did on Snipes, man. They did on Snipes. Quentin gives it a 9. I feel like the circle pattern killed the shoe. Um, It's Lil BG Vert. Lost and Founds yesterday. Yes, sir. Junior says, nah, G. Looks like a box of crayons threw up. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. That is crazy. Is, is there another snippet up in here that we can pop up for you guys? Is there another? Ah, here's another one. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Man Universe 2023 TikTok. Okay, let's see what the vibes are for this one. Hold up. Hopefully this dude actually has the pair and not just dropping you guys the... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do the, does he not have them? I don't think he does have them. No, he's just talking about the shoe. It's just... But, um... Regardless, regardless, I'm I'm gonna I think I'm I'm gonna go for him. I have to now. I kind of dig him. I'm kind of digging him. Oh, Junior says, uh, you said my lips don't work as good as they did yesterday. Oh my God, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Uh, what size of the Lost and Founds drop? No men sizes, John. You're good. You're good. No men sizes. Like I said before, it's definitely difficult grabbing up those men sizes, but no men sizes dropped. It was just flat out uh, GS sizes and below. Um, Benjamin says, good spanking morning. It's 6.5 for me. Uh, yo, wait, hold up. It's 6.50 for you guys right now? Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's 6.50 for you guys right now? Or is it... Uh, oh, no, you're saying 6.5. 6.5 as the rating. Okay. Um, I'll still cop, though, since I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. And there you guys have it on that. I'll cop for resale, says Michael. Shh, shh. There, you guys have it on that. So there's going to be a lot of people going for that shoe, man, regardless, man. Even if you guys do or don't like them, it seems like people are already have their mind made up that they're going to go for them. Uh, Demetrius says, no regrets, says Demetrius. What's going on, Demetrius? Um, another thing that we could talk about, which I would probably say, we're going to probably wait it up until like maybe 10 to 15 more minutes, um, will be, bro, the laser sip situ uh, situation has been confirmed, bro. It seems like someone admitted to them. I'm um, actually stealing packages and whatnot, which is crazy. Um, I didn't want to believe. I, I didn't want to believe. I knew things like that were happening, but it seems like they were confirming it. Um, I did see a post yesterday about some manager uh, talking about it. But um, like I said before, guys, I did mention that I didn't use the bathroom because, again, I got distracted. So I got to use the number one and possibly number two. You guys may have to wait for me a bit, like maybe two minutes or so, maybe a minute or so, so I can get my ones and twos in. So respectfully, I'm going to put you guys right here. I will be back within a minute or two. So just give me a calm little second to get my ones and twos in real quick for the one time. I'll be right back with you guys. And uh, Bear's up in here, too. I don't know where he's at, though. I think he might be waiting outside for me. But I'll be right back with you guys real quick for the one time. It'll be extremely quick. Oh, there he is. Bear, take over the stream, buddy. All right. 
So I'm going to leave Bear up in here with you guys. There you guys go. Bear, make sure you guys run it up with Bear, all right? Smash that mother effing like button real quick for the one time. Bear's going to run it up. You already know, Bear. Run it up. Oh, hey, Mr. Bears. Chopping it up, buddy. Yo, Bear is so loyal to you guys. Look at this. Look where Bear is at right now. Bear is such a loyal dog that he was legit waiting for you guys. Look at that. Bear was really running it up. He's a real one. <laughs> He's such a real one. All right, guys. That's pretty much it, man. I just, um, I went pretty fast, man. So it wasn't too bad. Wash my hands. And that was it, man. When you got to go, you got to go. Especially in the early a.m. But thank you guys so much, man. Bear, thank you so much. Here, let me give you a nice little huggy poo, man. Thank you, buddy. Okay, here we go. Uh, Breezy that baby was like, Bear, like... <laughs> yeah, Bear's just, just such a chill dog, bro. Like, I kid you not. Uh, Bear's actually just posted there. <laughs> um, let's see. Sezzle was like, what's dropping today, Bear? Oh, my gosh. Tyler, what's going on, baby? How's everything going on your end? Uh, Dion says, I'm back. Quickest shiz ever, man. Hold the world record, man. Yo, when you got to go, you got to go. Listen, that bowel movement is healthy when you guys drink plenty of water. You guys see this water bottle right here? You guys see this water bottle right here? It may be small, but guess what? It gets the job done. It gets the job done. Um, Lewis says, has to be true. Men at Navy's from Sneakers, a live stock drop I ordered got lost in transit. Nike had to give me the refund yesterday. Ah, oh, tough. Tough, tough, tough. I says, just got in here. Uh, when did Lost and Founds drop and where's his eyes? So, eyes, we've been mentioning that all throughout the whole entire stream, but, uh, Snipes. Snipes has been, uh, Snipes dropped him yesterday. Snipes did drop him. Oh, no men sizes, though, so you're good on that. You're good on that. Uh, that was botting fast checkout. Was it that fast, bro? I kid you, I kid you not, man. Your boy was on it quick. Uh, Crisco says two men. Shiz is crazy. Uh, Doe Brando says my champ store got some yesterday, but they sold all the inventory this re uh, to this reseller. What? Lost and founds? Lost and founds? Dion says I can't pick up. I can't pick up my dogs like that for, um, they're like 89 pounds. The other one is 140 pounds. Crazy. I would always want a big dog. Um, but it does, it does have some like nice little, uh, pros, uh, on having a small little one. You guys can just lift them up. They're like, you know, packable and you guys can take them anywhere. They're, they're very easy to like just maneuver and not to mention their poops are not like humongous. They're not humongous, man. Usually, typically, it's like a good handful, but that's about it. Some poop, some some dogs poop like humans, and like, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. Even worse than humans, too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's kind of scary, man. Imagine how. Nah, chill. Let me not. Let me. Not. <laughs> uh, Breon says I'll change mine. Uh, let's see. I'll change mine to. Uh, mine to knew about, but knew someone had a bypass link at the same time. Says Breon. What do you mean by that, Breon? Um, let's see. Dio Brando says, yo, uh, yes, lost and found. Sheesh. He also says, no, don't tell me that, Lewis. I've been waiting for my, uh, Midnight me uh, Midnight Navies. Uh, you tell me they'll cancel mines? Question mark. What do you think, BG? Um, well, here's the thing. Midnight Navies, 
for me, they already came in, guys. My Midnight Navies already came in. Seems like multiple people have already grabbed up their Midnight Navies as well, too, man. Not gonna lie, because prices did go down from, like, 310 to 2, like... Oh, actually, no, they're around the same price. They're around the same price, but people have been selling them for a little bit below... Below than usual, so... I think, um... I think you guys should be seeing your payers coming in very soon. If you guys ordered anything before the holidays, give it until this week. After next week, um, once it gets to next week, then maybe start, you know, asking yourself, is it coming in? Should you call in for a refund? But odds are, if you guys do call for a refund and whatnot, it's probably still lost in transit and whatnot, but it could get to your doorstep soon. So who knows? Maybe you guys got to just be a little bit more positive on that side. A blue fawn pit bull and a... Uh, uh, Bull Mastiff. Oh my gosh. Uh, that water bottle is funny, bro. It says the sneaker freaker head UK. What the heck? What's so funny about this water bottle? It's the smallest one in the world. Is that what it is? Rob says, I'm late. Who did Lost and Found? Um, let's see. Who did a Lost and Found release? Um, Snipes. Everybody got fired from the shoe palace here in Tampa when they backdoor all the 11s. Wait, are you guys serious? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that the same video that we've seen up in here where the dude was like, you know, having the whole freaking truck, the whole freaking pickup truck or whatever it is with all those pairs? Are we talking about that same freaking uh, shoe palace? They got in fast as heck. I got my Midnight Navies. Yeah, um, you guys should have received them like ASAP. No, Rocky. Rob says my Chicago 2s will be here today from Sneakers app. Boom. There we go. Outbat says Shoe Palace is notorious for the back door, and I've only picked up a Ferrari 14s from there once in store. Uh, let's see. D Sneaker says, looks tiny. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for the 84 thumbs up once again, guys. Appreciate you guys on that. Um, I think I might end up... Are you guys... Well, it's up to you guys. Would you guys rather have me drop the TikTok short now, or should we just wait on the end of the stream and have you guys just go at it strong on the end of the stream? You guys let me know. I did try dropping you guys a TikTok yesterday, but I decided to just wait up on it until we were live here. Um, but you guys let me know. If you guys would want to watch a TikTok real quick for the one time, you guys can. But we could always just wait it up after the stream is over. I'm also trying to see if there's anything else happening at 10 a.m. EST. But from what it seems like, like I said before, man, it's very much dry. We're just chillaxing, vibing up a storm. Um, Breon says, I ordered Jordan 1 Lowe's UNC 6s. Um, hold up, hold up. Jordan 1 low UNCs. My apologies. No sixes. On Snipe, still waiting for them to ship from the 31st. Not too worried yet. Yeah, I would say it's too early to be, uh, it's too early to be worried about them anyways. Uh, yes, that was the in-store in Tampa. Crazy. Outbat says drop it. Would you guys want to see it now or just later on? You guys let me know. We can wait up on it. We'll probably just wait up on it whenever it does hit 10. Whenever it hits 10, we'll wait up on it. Uh, you already know I got my TikTok locked and loaded, says Tyler. Breon says, do you want to admit on finish line dropping, says Breon. Is that what's going on on finish line? Whoa. No, thank you. Uh, the only thing I'm seeing for finish line is just uh, these two bad boys for tomorrow. Oh, is exclusive access happening today? Are we expecting to see exclusive access for finish line JD, or did that already happen? I felt like we already expect we already seen uh, JD and finish line uh, exclusive access though. I think this might have already happened. I feel like we went over it already this week. New arrivals? Do we see any good gems on new arrivals? Nothing. 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 <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, because remember, everybody thought you were getting uh getting Austin still kicking Diaz. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll probably just wait off on it, um, until the end of the stream. Uh, Breon says few mids, new arrivals. Says Breon, not bad. Uh, George says my Jordan Five Dornbreakers came in a week, no problem. Shoe Palace. Oh my gosh, it already happened, BG. Yeah, it already did. It already did. You guys were right. I think it happened sometime early in this uh this week. Again, it's been such a dry week that. Man, there's not much that we can look forward to that, uh, other than tomorrow. I got JD finish line exclusive access yesterday on the messy room. Sheesh. 
yesterday ea access for jd sports thank you guys so much once again for the reminder it seems like it's been so dry that uh just you know it's nothing that we can remember or nothing that we are like too fond about to even have up on there but did anyone go for supreme yesterday yesterday i did end it a little bit earlier than usual i had a feeling supreme wasn't gonna be all that did anyone go for supreme yesterday how did that go how did the uh the process go for you guys was it a smooth route? Do you guys miss having uh, Apple Pay up in there? What do you guys buy from Supreme yesterday? Thank you guys so much for the 92 thumbs up. We are eight likes away from hitting that mark bait B. Pretty soon we will be talking about um, our next topic on the stream. Those seven sleeping on undefeated. Sleeping on undefeated? Oh, yeah, they should be still up in there. I feel like they've been dropping left and right. Um, and matter of fact, anything that's been dropping on sneakers that has been dropping on undefeated early, early. There you guys have it on that. Those sevens are sitting, sitting, sleeping, sleeping, sitting, sitting, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, they are pretty easy to obtain. Not to mention, I don't know what it is about these men, but is it just me or do you guys kind of see a Bordeaux type of thing going down with this colorway? I kind of do see a resemblance. I don't know if it's me just wanting to like you know wanted to wanted to have a shoe like bordeaux's drop again but let me see let's see where they at bordeaux sevens though man last time they dropped do i have a bordeaux seven i do have a bordeaux seven i i gotta pull that off the uh pull that out of the uh the storage um damn they might not look like too much but it's that it's this purple it's this purple or is that burgundy? It's that type of vibe that's giving me the Bordeaux vibes, low key. Do they do they have pictures of the bottoms? No, they don't. It's that purple that gives me that Bordeaux vibe, low key. What up, BG? What's up, Bacon? Supreme Sidden says George. Supreme loaded late, but did not sell out. Says King Tuck. So no one pretty much bought it up the the site, huh? It just sat. Nothing crazy on Supreme. <laughs> Nothing crazy on that end. Thank you guys so much for the 96. We are four likes away. Get the likes up to 100 likes real quick for the one time. There's only four people needed for that mark. Let's get her done. Alexi says facts. Facts on what? That they somewhat resemble to Bordeaux? I kid you not, guys. I feel like I've seen a pair that looks near to the Bordeaux 7s. We might have to see a review on these real quick for the one time. Hold up. What are these? Olive 7s? Olive Seven um, Jordan. Let's do. Do they have videos? Man, I really want to pop a video up in here, but I don't want to get uh, spiked or whatever it is clipped. I want to give it a shot. I want to. Is there anything on TikTok that shows the video? Uh, a video of these bad boys. Here we go. Hold up, Jordan One. Nope. Jordan 7s, nothing, nothing on that. Jordan 7 Olive. Could this be it right here? I think these might be it. Ta-da, but that was too fast. I need, like, something that shows me details within a couple of seconds. Hold up, 2023. People are really having these early, early, huh? Wait, is that how they're supposed to look? Hold up. Hold on, I gotta pause this real quick. I didn't know they had like that type of design. You guys see that right here? I didn't know that. I could even see that in pictures, on pictures. Bro, I didn't see, I didn't see that close enough. I didn't know they had that type of designing on them like that, on the side. That might make it or break it for some people. I don't know, I'm, I kinda don't like that. I kind of don't like that. What's good, homie? What's going on? SK Stacks. What is up? Uh, sevens aren't for me, says Rob. Again, it's not for everyone, but I do like my sevens a lot, man. I do feel like they're a slick shoe for some for some people, of course. Um, uh, Andre says Little Rock, Arkansas. Shout out. Shout out to Arkansas. Uh, they look like Jordan Pata's seven um, icicles and shimmer, says uh, CED. Victorious. Seven Bordeaux, these green joints, super trash as the vibes. Hold up. We got a plane coming through. I can't even hear myself when these planes be coming through. Uh, they actually look better on video, says Crisco. You think so? 
Uh, heard you was the final boss, BG, says Westside. I'm the final boss? Oh, my gosh. Why, what do I have to do with the shoes, man, when it comes down to delivery? Listen, I'm just here trying to help you guys out. I ain't no final boss, man. I'm not here trying to get your guys' shoes whatsoever. Maybe I got to see more videos. Okay, this is uh, Tony T2 Wild. I kind of do like his reviews more than a lot of uh, the majority of people's. These don't look bad, man. But it's that it's this that that design thing image that throws me off a bit. I kind of like a for sevens. I don't like them being too flashy. I like them being subtle. I like them being subtle. I like the back tab. I like that a lot. I like the color blocking on the bottoms. That's really nice. Again, that purple does make me feel like it's somewhat of like a Bordeaux type of vibe to it. Bordeaux type of vibe. You guys seen that? Look, hold up. Let me see if he can just pop that up. Right there. Do you guys somewhat see what I'm talking about? That purple does kind of hit like a Bordeaux type of purple. Let's see. Ben P says, Morning BG and fam. Where did Lost and Founds release yesterday? They were released on Snipes. Joel says, Thank God it's Friday at BG Kicks family. Hope all is well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Thank God it's Friday, man. We're here. For a good time, baby. Not a long time. Uh, those sevens look like they should be for the kids, says the vibes. I can definitely see big, ki uh, big kids and uh, adults rocking these bad boys, too. It's just a matter of whether or not you guys like the design to it, whether or not you guys like the sevens. I do like the color blocking a bit. I do like the color blocking. It's like very much dark toned. I, I like that a lot. The yellow on it does make me feel like it, it stands out a bit, which is why it's a nice little combination of dark tone with a nice little thing that pops with it. So the yellow doesn't look too bad on it either. But um, I can see a lot of people rocking these in New York, to be honest. JD dropping Jordan 1 mids today says too good. Thank you so much, too good. Albat says, did you grab your uh, those Citrus 7s or the Georgetowns? Nah, neither. Neither, neither, neither. Um, one thing is for sure, though, I feel like a lot of people did grab up, uh, when it comes down to 7s, are the trophy rooms, man. Trophy rooms, when they came out, it was somewhat of a toughie to uh, grab these up low-key, right? Am I tripping? Who has a pair of Trophy Room 7s? Let me know in the chat. Believe it or not, this this 7 right here could be one of those top-notch 7s that I've seen drop ever, to be honest. It might be labeled as my top 10 and 7s uh, and, uh, on when it comes down to it, man. It might be part of my top 10 best 7s to ever drop. Would definitely be one of these right here at Trophy Rooms. Morning BG, morning Vex. Uh, what GS or men's? Um, it was just GS, GS and below, GS and below. So you got, you guys are good. Um, let's see. Uh, hopefully I'm saying this correctly, but I'll just say up. Did Lost of Founds and get restocked? And uh, for how many were released? Question mark. We don't know how many, but just know that they were on Snipe. So whatever did drop yesterday wasn't gonna be a, an easy cop for a lot of you guys. Again, Snipes is very much bot central. Very much bot central. They dropped sometime in the afternoon as well. Um, by the time they did drop, again, most sizes were already out of stock. So even if I was going to be going live, um, it would have been too late. It was going to be too late for it. No one really knew about it to drop like that anyways. Um, in the vault says, I got trophy room sevens. Had to trade for them. Those trophy rooms are fire, uh, says Sean. Yeah, no, most, most, bro, I kid you not. I feel like these sevens right here are probably one of the most underrated sevens of all time. Legit. I can't believe they're that low. They're below 300 in some sizing. They're below 300 in the majority of the sizes are some sizing. So it's it's crazy to see how low these are at when they these are somewhat premium sevens, if I'm not mistaken, man. Everything about the shoe looks pretty decent. I remember the first time I seen them, I wasn't digging them, and they just grew on me 1000 percent They grew on me 1000 percent man. BJ, ain't nobody rocking them sevens and NY. Chill, chill, says the vibes. What? Man, if you guys rocking Bordeaux sevens here in New York, man, you guys got to rock the uh, olive sevens. Low key. Because no one's really trying to pay that resale price. No one's really trying to pay that resale price. Bordeaux sevens are already up there. Um, And even if you guys do try to snag them up, the majority of sizes that you guys would want to grab up, I mean, look at that. Bro, they're around that 400 price tag. To, or uh, around that 320 and nobody trying to pay around 300 uh 300 for a for a seven for a seven 
No one's trying to do that. If you guys are trying to have uh, 280, 260 pairs for like fours, no one's trying to do that for sevens. No one's trying to do that. People are just going to have to wait for that restock or just uh, for that another drop. Um, and if not, they're going to have to look for something that looks um, closer to it. Probably be these. But yeah, no one's trying to pay 300, 400 for a pair of sevens right now. They're trying to do that with fours and maybe even not even with fours. So um, let's see. Um, man, what do you think about the Nike Air Force One mid off-white pine greens? No one's talking about them. Which ones exactly are you talking about? Because I, I don't think I've seen those yet. If so, if not, if I have seen them, then maybe you're right. Maybe we haven't been speaking too much about them. BG, my dad and my birthday's tomorrow. Get, get out of here, Josh. You and your dad's birthday are tomorrow? Holy snap, man. Happy um, early birthday, man. Is Union dropping today? No, Sean. No, um, I don't think anything is dropping when it comes down to Union. And if it is, it's probably going to be something very dead. Nothing when it comes down to Jordan 1s, that is. So you guys are good on that part. Sean says, um, let's see, I think I already read that. Uh, Dion says, I don't rock Jordan 1 mids, but the ones that are are gray and white and blue dropping today on finish on JD are clean. Says, still kicking Diaz. Is anyone is anyone going for anything today on the top of the hour? Again, it's close to, it's about to hit that 10 a.m. EST mark. Is anyone going to be going for anything on the top of the hour? um up says this one bro looks super fly if you guys do want to drop me any images you guys definitely have to drop it in my dms because i can't be seeing anything on the chat unless you guys are on mod or have that wrench um by the way guys thank you so much for subscribing up to the channel we did get uh make it to 400 um within last stream so thank you guys so much for keeping on and subscribing up to the channel if you guys are new like i keep mentioning below uh i always mention it each and every single day make sure you guys subscribe up hit the bell icon if you guys see that bell icon under this video right here under this live stream hit it because it will give you guys the you know notification that we're live and whenever i do pop up you guys a video when it comes down to like sneaker resale uh predictions or shot drop alerts or just sneaker releases info you guys will be first ones, and uh, usually, typically, my videos are very short, so it gets straight to the point. You guys will get the knowledge ASAP, no Rocky. Um, Wicked, what's going on? What's dropping? Not much, man. Not much. We're definitely going to have to see on the top of the hour. Uh, love mids. Like mids better than the high, says Geronimo. What? Wow, Geronimo, is that actually true, man? Let me know in the chat who feels the same way or if anyone does feel like mids are better than highs. I feel like the majority of people up in here always talk high about the highs and then low about the mids, you know? Like, not many people show that love and support when it comes down to mids. So you're one of those few people that I've heard that actually prefer mids over the highs. Um, can I get your reasoning why that is? Again, I, I usually prefer the highs over the mids just because of the quality um, and not to mention the cut. I do feel like the highs look better on me than I do with the mids. Even though there's a slidge, there's like a, a slight difference. There's like a smit of a difference. Um, I still feel like the highs do me justice more than the mids. Other than the mids. Thank you guys so much for the 111 thumbs up once again, guys. We do appreciate you guys for tapping in, man um upset sent ig dm bro says uh up awesome what's your instagram name by the way let me see if i can pop it up okay let me refresh this bad boy to see any dms that people have sent make sure you guys make sure you guys follow me on instagram as well too so it doesn't become hidden because some of you guys be messaging me but um oh okay there we go i think i see you okay here we go let me see if i can pop you up he's talking about these guys he's talking about these what, did these even drop before, or are they still supposed to drop? Hold up. Did these ever drop? He's talking about these, y'all. <clears throat> Have these ever dropped? Have these ever dropped? I can't recall, man. It's been a minute. These were one, uh, some mids that, that we were seeing since, like, the summertime, I feel like. I haven't heard too much. Highs are better, just like um, uh, just like the look. Nothing against mids though, uh, but the colors are just meh. Um, he must be five one, says Crisco. Why you say that, Chris? Um, let's see, what's the stigma on the mids anyway? Question mark. I don't know, man. I just think that I don't know. It's just something about people, people not liking mids. I don't think there's any problems with rocking mids. I always mention it, man. If I could rock mids, I would, but. 
Seems like I have a preference for the highs because, again, the quality, probably the colorway and the cut. Uh, MP says, good morning. It's the weekend. Let's do some big things. Bay B says, MP, love the freaking positivity, baby. Appreciate you guys. What you guys plan on doing for this week? For this weekend, I should say. I know I have to go to a party uh, tomorrow. It's going to be like a mass party. It's like a, a birthday party going on. So your boy's going to be looking nice and spiffy with like some type of thing. I think I might have to go ahead and buy a, buy a pair of pants and like a, a nice little shirt. Um, or I could just go with something that I have going on. But I might have to bust out the uh, the red bottoms and um, a nice little pant, some pants and something spiffy. And then we'll have a nice little mask to go along with it. That's pretty dope. Pretty freaking vibe. Vibey. The vibe says, yo, BG, if I hit Mega Millions tonight, I'm buying the whole chat Lost and Founds. Okay, let's get it then. Let's get it. Make sure you guys run up those tickets for uh the lottery real quick for the one time so you guys can support on that way. Clizzy Kicks, what's going on, man? He says, the vibes. We're going to hold you to it, says Clizzy Kicks. <laughs> oh, my God. He's already busting out his uh, size. He says size 10 and a half. Yeah, make sure you guys list it down in the chat what size you guys for those Lost and Founds, baby. For those lost and founds, baby. Kylie says, yo, BG, should I trade my dead stock size 9.5 Dodger Dunks for Jordan 4? Oreo size 9.5, use condition, very new dead stock. Very near dead stock. Do you think it's worth it? Should I trade my dead stock size 9.5 Dodger Dunks for the Jordan 4 Oreo size? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I would stay, I would stay with those Dodger Dunks. I would stay with those Dodger Dunks. I feel like those Dodger Dunks were extremely tougher to grab up than those Oreos, man. Those Dodger Dunks are an SB. Those Dodger Dunks feel like they they hit they hit for some people home. You know that that has somewhat. Nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it with some Oreos, man. You guys can definitely look look for an Oreo somewhere else without having to trade that that shoe. That's a grail for some people. Those Dodger Dunks. Size so twelve, man. Appreciate it, says Philip. Twelve point five. There we go. Run it up run it up if he hits that lottery which i'm assuming he will he will hit the lotto he's gonna be hooking us up with lots of fans for the fan man let me see if i can hook uh hook up this laptop for uh some good old battery light because i wouldn't want the stream to just crash or just turn off that would suck but i feel like the quality on the stream when it comes down to the interconnection has improved by a lot I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing it right now, but I feel like it has improved a lot, and it's just going to get better as time goes on, man. Um, Let's see. Crypto says... uh, it's Crypto, I know that you're from India, so um, it, it'd be here in the U.S., but uh, on Snipes. On Snipes. Uh, DS for VN Diaz? You crazy, says Blue. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it, man. What's dropping this month, question mark? What's dropping this month? That's a great question, man. Um, well, we can actually summarize the majority of things that are dropping for this month. Um, here, let's do it real quick for the one time. We'll do it real quick for the one. I feel like we haven't summarized what's going on for this month, which honestly, again, um, sneakers calendar. You guys check out the upcoming. Check this bad boy out right here. You guys got true blues. You guys got the fives. You guys got some good old dunks. You guys got some air forces. You guys got another wait hold up i feel like we've seen these drop again haven't we seen these zooms drop in that same colorway is nike doing a redrop on these or what's up damn 160 bucks it's nice size 10 says randy oh yeah randy's not playing he's dropping a size right there robin says size 11 my boy yo is goat legit it should be legit man it should be man they haven't done me wrong uh Juan says good morning bg what's up with the final boss question mark okay so um pretty much i still haven't mentioned it uh we can definitely start talking about it right now um i know it seems like i'm jumping here uh like crazy but as far as for this month it's pretty dry the only thing that i'm looking forward to for this month is probably those true blue ones and probably pandas um bad bunny should be dropping on the 28th as well in case you guys aren't interested i'm pretty sure they're going to be loaded up pretty soon if not they should be already loaded up these bad boys look amazing beautiful Holy spanking shoes. If these are how the Celtics uh, Jordan 1s are going to be looking like, bro. I mean, I can't call them the Celtics. They're called Lucky Greens. But if these are they're going to be looking like, bro, they look beautiful. Just know a whole lot of Celtics and Jason Tatum fans are going to go crazy after this one. That looks beautiful. Um, sneaker news. Let's see if I can pop up sneaker news for you guys. I'm sure that they dropped it right here for y'all. Nope. No sneaker news for this. Nope. So then I would think Complex. Complex sneakers. 
And then here you guys go. Check this out, man. So former laser ship manager pleads guilty to stealing Nikes. All right. So um, I'm pretty sure we've seen images. I'm pretty sure we've seen what went down on that. Um, if you guys haven't known, so pretty much the manager or, man, or former manager, I should say, from Lasership ended up pleading guilty from uh, stealing packages uh, from Nike. Um, I believe they stole over like 10 or 11 uh, packages and counting. Um, I believe he had extra help from other workers as well. So it was definitely like some type of like plot where they were like finessing the system some way, somehow on their end. So um, mo the majority of us that actually ended up like, you know, feeling like there was something going on with laser ship and stuff like that. I mean, it was somewhat true. It seems like it's been going on, um, which is freaking crazy, which is freaking crazy to even having to worry about like drivers and whatnot, just grabbing up packages and dipping down and just, you know, doing something like that. Because um, truthfully, I would say that the most honorable people should be like drivers like you know um shipping companies because we're trusting we're, we're having faith in them and stuff so um it just sucks that we don't know if um you know even if we do hit on the shoes that we truly do desire we don't know if it's actually going to be here or not because it's in their hands it's it, we're, we're trusting their our our faith it is within them so it's like kind of crazy to hear about you know someone pleading guilty and actually you know i'm sure the reason why he's pleading guilty is because he knows he's going to serve time uh, but pleading guilty will look better on his end and not to mention he'll probably like serve less time but i'm assuming that you know if they could have gone away um you know if they could have gone away with it they definitely wouldn't have said anything and just would have gone through uh you know just gone through with their life but i believe with like surveillance cameras and stuff catching them and showing proof and evidence that they were doing things uh, i mean it, the clock was just ticking for them so um yeah it's just crazy and it was uh through laser ships so i'm assuming that there's other places of course fedex of course ups of course you know every other place that we'd be using for shipping companies um for our uh sneakers you know um th i'm sure i'm sure they're gonna get something um where we're gonna start cracking cracking cases and stuff like that so um that's crazy that is crazy um he got the plea deal yeah pretty much um 10 or eleven thousand? no i don't know about 10 or eleven thousand. i don't know about 10 or eleven thousand though i know for a fact it's probably like 10 or 11 packages packages so that's individual at least 11 11 packages from my understanding but i don't know about 10 or eleven thousand though um i can't recall i deliver on amazon it's so hard to stay honest with uh when you make thirty eight thousand a year says chris east Burn says, I'm super grateful I have the most chill uh, drivers up here. USPS is super un uh, understaffed and always leaves my shit by the door or by the road, says Burns. And it's sometimes like how, um yeah, it's 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 sometimes how it goes down, man. I know for a fact they have tough times. Knowing that people, I know people that used to work as delivery drivers and it's not easy, man. It's not easy going through it all day long, um, just going up and down. Delivering packages that weigh up to like 15 to 50 pounds. You know, it's not easy. It's it's very much not easy. So I know for a fact that uh, there's some good people out there that actually do their job honorably and stuff. And there's some people that, you know, sometimes they feel like they're doing things and they're not getting enough for their pay. So the best way of doing them is probably, you know, the most, the most slimiest way ever, which is probably like, you know, taking people stuff and just making money out of whatever they find or just, you know, stuff like that, which sucks. But maybe, maybe it could be a little bit of a difference if they had a higher pay rate, maybe perhaps, could that be a difference for people not stealing packages? What do you guys think? Is it problems with um, them not feeling like they're getting enough money on their end for them to, you know, do this type of stuff? Or what, what could we do to prevent from them stealing our packages? If anything, should it be having a higher pay, uh, pay rate? I think that could somewhat help. I think if someone was getting paid fifty dollars, sixty dollars an hour for delivering packages, they wouldn't even think about doing something like you know, taking stuff out of people's packages and risking it all, because that is a huge risk. That's like a freaking felony. Um, Geronimo, thank you so much for the two dollar dono. He says nothing but love at Crisco. Let me send you mids. Says Ayo Geronimo. Guys, yes, thank you so much for tapping in up in here, man. If anything, if someone does say anything that feels like it was a little bit on top, of, like, you know, over the line and whatnot, please just know that, um, you know, you guys can always tag one another, be respectful to one another. Just make sure you guys don't take it too much, you know, out of line. This is a respectable 
community. I feel like everyone up in here are open hands, open arms. So just uh, make sure you guys love one another. Don't try to, you know, act up crazy and stuff like that. Seems like Geronimo run it up with Chris. So I'd love to see that, man. Hopefully, Chris, if you're up in here, if you felt like you took it up to um, up to the, you know, if it, if, it, if it rubbed you the wrong way, hopefully he made up for it by, you know, letting you know, like, hey, he's just messing around and stuff like that. So that's pretty, pretty dope of him uh, stepping up like that. So. Thank you guys so much for running it up with us. And again, if there's anything that does go down, please let me know and we can definitely fix it up in here. Um, <clears throat> that's bogus to steal, bro. You knew the job when you um, well, uh, you applied to JW. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I'd say um, I'd say fifty dollars an hour. You'd uh, you'd hope so. Uh, some people see that fire package and gonna steal it either way. Says Burns. Um, let's see. Chris E says because Lazyship knows what you're gonna get your money back. Dot, dot, dot. So they feel like if uh, you don't get the shoes, but you didn't lose, says uh, Chris East. Uh, still kicking DS says, that's not a felony. That's a federal offense, says uh, uh, Dion. My apologies on that. Um, let's see. Ref says, some don't even knock on your door. Just a drop off. And uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, JW says, I've been overworked. And uh, that ain't make me want to steal, says JW. Dave says, a thief is a thief no matter how much money they make or don't make. Tracy says, those who steal on the job will steal even with higher pay. Uh, they think the risk is worth the uh, worth more. Interesting on that. Okay. I see what you guys are getting at once um, again. Uh, Vic says, I'm just saying overall. What's on Snipes? Not much going on on Snipes today. Not much going on in general. Thank you guys so much for the 124 thumbs up, by the way, guys. Ray says, Abby Kicks, do you think the messy rooms are, are good for resale, even though they are GSIs? Question mark. I don't believe that they're going to be doing numbers, but they're still going to be somewhat. Um, in some sizes, I feel like they're going to be selling out. I feel like messy rooms are, are bricks, but it's still a four. It's still a four, though. So even if they are GS sizing, I'm assuming they're still going to be selling out. And holy snap, hold up, hold up, hold up. Retail price is 140 uh, for the GS size, but they're still... I mean, if you guys would have had them early, if you guys would have hit on them like sometime this week... You guys probably would have made a profit uh within this week but i just don't know if that's gonna if that's gonna last for tomorrow geronimo by the way thank you so much for the two dollar dono i appreciate you on that um crisco says hey yo that actually made me laugh uh nothing personal it's all love there we go love to see that man love to see that uh blue widow spider what's going on uh soul healing dog says i can't uh i can't stand a thief at all I can't stand thieves, y'all. You can't stand them. I'm sure none of us can stand them. But listen, listen, I think there's going to be a time and place where people are starting to realize that it's not really worth it. Because again, um, I, I can't I can't say that people are going to change. But I know for a fact, some, some people really do regret the things that they've done. I'm sure that you guys have done things that you guys probably regret as well. Um, I'm assuming that, you know, the people that have done this and get caught, I'm assuming that they regret it 1000%. And they try to like, you know, Try to think about what they've done and, you know, try to just change that mindset. I'm sure that people are not going to understand until they actually get caught and, like, actually serve the time. So, I'm assuming this is going to be helping this person out mentally and be well aware of, like, you know, the things that they've been doing weren't right. So, I'm a, it sucks that they're going to uh, serve time, but um, at least they're going to they're gonna understand that what they did was wrong. And um, I think that's a, that's a lesson. That's a lesson that, that, that they're never going to forget, so at least what whatever happened i think it's gonna be uh you know it's gonna be for the uh for the good of them and stuff like that so uh ray says i meant retail is 150 on sneakers says ray oh is it really hold up oh yeah it is 150 yeah so like as like i said before man when it comes down to these bad boys the mess rooms or the french blues whatever you guys want to call them i would consider them being straight up uh pretty much for the for the personal for the personal Andrew seventy seven, what's going on, man? He says whoever delivers la uh, lazy ship to my area is pretty ter uh, pretty terrible, mostly wifey stuff. But uh, they literally throw it into the middle of the driveway most of the time. Says Andrew. Again, it depends on your type of driver, man. Some drivers are not trying to go each and every single time to every single doorstep. I understand what they're trying to get at, but I mean it, it depends on the driver as well too, man. But not to mention, you guys got to think about it. These people work each and every single day, going after it each and every single time. So just imagine there's going to be some days where they just don't want to do things. Imagine getting up every single morning and just constantly getting up, grabbing a package, constantly just trying to on the move constantly. Cause like they're pretty much, 
paid in a in a timely manner. Like you guys have to do things in a timely manner for you guys to keep your job. So I can just uh, it's just it's like they're robots. So I can just I I understand sometimes when they don't want to go to your doorstep and stuff. But as long as they as long as they're doing their job how they're supposed to be doing, it's fine by me. Even if it is on the doorstep, at least ring the door, make sure that they know that, you know, that there's people there before anything. But I, I can understand them. I, I understand them because I know people that have done this work. I've known I've known people. And it's not easy. Um Isaac says, Hey man, sorry to interrupt. What happened with the Lost and Founds drop yesterday? Uh no problem, man. They dropped on snipes in the afternoon. No one really like, you know thought that they were going to be dropping but it was just in gs sizing and just like toddler sizing and stuff like that so no men sizing for those that are asking for lost and founds no men sizing whatsoever um kj what's up man i don't understand why people apply for the job just do the minimum effort though uh just to do the minimum effort though it's because some people don't want to do it because they don't like the job they just have to take the job because they need that money some people do things because they want the money instead of actually doing what they love to do um, it's not easy doing something that you guys don't inspire to be or just inspire for your life, you know? So again, a lot of people are very much unmotivated to do what they do each and every single day because they don't want to do that, uh, that thing. Um, LOL, if you apply for that job, that's your job, says JW. Yeah. Uh, Chris E says he was probably charged with felony, um, embezzlement. That is basically, uh, probation as long as you can pay the fine back over the next couple of years, which I'm assuming that fine isn't going to be too crazy anyways. Um, George says 95% of the time, they, um, they follow my delivery instructions and, uh, uh, place packages on my back porch. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. You definitely have to like, let the person know if anything, cause sometimes they just do things just to do them and. It is what it is. Larry G says, it's all about the morals and values, not your pay scale, especially when you take the job. You um, Let's see. When you take the job, you what comes with it. Quit already, says Larry G says. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. No, that's facts, though. That's freaking facts. Um, If you don't like what you uh, – if you guys are not doing the job correctly, if you guys don't typically like what you guys are doing, just quit and find something else that you guys may want to do even more. As simple as that. I remember I was working at a warehouse, like I said before. Um, at some point, my job didn't really feel like I was like there. I was just like a robot. So I had to like make a change and I had to just say to myself, D is this really worth it? Am I wasting their time just as much as I'm wasting my time? So all I did was I, lit it, I legit, I went there one day and then out of nowhere, I just said, yeah, I'm not coming back and just see what I can do somewhere else. And again, I'm doing this, which is what I love to do. And then um, pretty soon I'll end up having to do a nice little part time as well. But I am investing my time each and every single morning, each and every single day on the channel because this is what I would want to do as the 9 to 5, if anything, if I had an option. But um, it doesn't feel like a 9 to 5 whatsoever. And it's not paying like a 9 to 5, but I'm investing my time like it is. So hopefully sooner or later it can get up there. But um, like I said before, if you guys don't like what you guys do, I would say if you guys have the possibility, a chance, if you guys have options, try to make it happen, man. Try to make it happen. The earlier, the better. I feel like time is in essence like you guys really don't have too much time to play around, especially once you guys get to that stage where it's like, um, you know, life is hitting you and you guys have a lot of things that you guys got to take care of. At that point, you guys really have to think fast and say to yourself, like, whether or not you guys are making the right choice doing this at this certain moment, or is there anything else that you guys would want to take the risk and just try to you try to try to take advantage of the time being that that you're in right now. So um let's see burn says facts i feel like it was working uh deli jobs for years i will never go back to that ever again says burns drivers are punished if they uh take too long to delivery packages yeah no they get tracked you guys are pretty much being tracked at all times it's like legit if you guys are in a certain location for a certain amount of time they'll probably like track you guys down at least that's how it is for some companies it's like you guys got to be on the go each and every single time there's no time for sleeping there's no time for like resting there's no time unless it's on break you know that's how it be sometimes. You guys got to go from point A to point B in a certain amount of time period or else you guys were get, or you guys going to get penalized for it. Um, let's see. JW says, if you die today, uh, your job will replace you um, at that job. Yeah, uh, for some jobs, I feel like you guys are uh, nothing but a number. Nothing but a number. That's how it is uh, the majority of the time. You guys are just a replaceable asset. That's about it, man. Um, that's why sometimes, I, I, like I said, last year was like a breaking point, low key. It was like a, 
it was like a is this job gonna really care about me if i'm like in my mid 30s or 40s or whatnot or should i explore doing something else that would probably be more more important to my life and just more more me you know so that's when i was like you know what man this job is always going to be here if anything does end up failing back i'll just go back to it i'll just go back to it so right now this is the stage where i'm experimenting on my life and seeing what i love to do i think i found the craft it's just a matter of time whether it's going to be uh it's going to be up there for me right so uh jason says watching the stream while i'm waiting to see the doctor at urgent care uh pulled my groin skating a huge rail yesterday holy shiz man hopefully your groin feels amazing tomorrow or the pet next couple of days because i know that groin is on fire but nothing but speedy recovery bro man it sucks to like have a groin injury that sucks i feel your pain i've had one before it sucks it freaking sucks you feel like you can't even move feel like you can't even squat you feel like you can't even like move your legs you gotta be like inching away and then once you guys feel that sensation of like a burning uh not so much of a burning but it's like an aching sensation you guys pretty much have to like walk through it walk through it until you get used to it, it sucks it sucks having a groin pain uh a groin uh injury ghost chucky what's up man yo bg tapping in while i work have a good day everyone ghost chucky i appreciate you and i love you man thank you so much for always tapping in um kj says ups man will walk to my porch and throw my box instead of just simply placing it down that's kj Again, people just don't care, man. They're just trying to get to point A and point B. I know some people do know, like, you know, they have to do it a certain way. But after a while, man, people are just trying to get in and get out. So I, I ain't explaining that. Explain that, BGLMAO. I kid you not. I just explained. They don't care. They're just trying to get in and get out. They're just trying to clock in and clock out and go about the day. Legit, man. If only there was people out there that could do it every single time. But, like, bro, kid you not. After a while after a while you guys get tired of it man if you guys don't love what you do you're not gonna do it perfectly or you're not gonna do it as you should uh, he cool until your packages get uh don't get delivered says west side yeah pretty much dimitri says i love what i do but uh there's gonna be some good days and some bad ones basic life stuff for a fact morning fam i wish i could sleep in what's going on eduardo sounds like a stid if it burns i love all yeah not so much not so much not so much an STI or anything like that. More like an ache. Not so much of a burn. Not so much like a burn. Chill, chill, chill. Jonathan says, sneakers pass today. Is it really? Let me know in the chat. If there is one, let me know in the chat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got rumors going on of uh, sneakers passes. Let's see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sneakers pass alerts. Let me know. I haven't seen anything yet, though. I haven't seen anything. Yet. Any rumors about that? Do you guys see it on your end? Um, Let's see. I was on perfect 50-50 grind, and when I was coming down my rail, my board went a little forward and just extended my front leg. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ray Tavares says, drivers have uh, seconds to deliver packages at each stop. Amazon had uh, drivers pee in bottles to not waste time and try to deliver as many packages as possible. Sheesh. No freaking way. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Jonathan says sneakers pass on Lost and Founds, which I think he might be inaccurate on that, but we'll see. Hold up. Oh, correction, Chicago 2 is my apology. Okay. Hold up. Yeah, I would say that was a little bit... Damn, I feel like if there were Lost and Founds to drop this uh, today, it would go crazy. It would go crazy. I feel like we would have found out about that a while ago, but I think he meant Chicago 2s. He is saying correction, Chicago 2s. My apologies. You're good. Uh, you're good, Jonathan. You're good. They're both Chicago's. I understand. Um, in the vault says everything goes by your zip code. Uh, the nicer the zip, the nicer the service. Says in the vaults. Interesting. La Fama Blanca says, "Yo, good morning. Good morning, La Fama Blanca. Let's see what time it is. We got 13 more minutes left to see what's gonna be dropping at 10 a.m. If just the ends up dropping at 10, we'll run it. We'll run it for the sneakers pass. What do you guys think? If there is a sneakers pass today, would you guys want to run it? Zeke says, "Morning, BG and fam." Um, I gotta get to work. Wish y'all a great day, Zeke. Thank you so much for all the wishes and the W's for this week, man. Quick question though, for this week, what W's have you guys had? Let me know. Did you guys ever go for anything for this week? DeAndre Davies says, uh, BG Kicks, you think these Jordan 7 Black Ops are going to sit? Um, they might sit, man. I'm not seeing too many people talking about them. At, uh, Larry G says, um, at Caster, damn it. Yeah, run that sneakers passes, Ryan. Yeah, we can run it. Who's going to be going for the sneakers pass if it does end up going live today? 
sorry guys i'm gonna be having nice um one of uh jada's friends her name is uh um well the name doesn't really matter so much i'm not so sure if she wants her information out there but um as her name but uh just know that she did give me one of these candy bars it's like a kinder uh bueno crispy cream chocolate bar i don't know where it's from i think it's like from sweden or something some swedish candy some swedish chocolate and i'm gonna be having a nice little bite of it because that thing was really freaking good really freaking good um let's see yeah run that sneakers pass bg what do you think about the true blue jordan ones i think they're a great shoe man but am i gonna be going for them not so much gotta pick and choose gotta pick and choose my poison on those um let's see i'm copying with my refund uh from moldy lost and found says brian oh my gosh i uh, think it's passport to uh for question mark for chicago twos for chicago twos apparently again i'll say potential i'll say potential if anything i do trust jonathan but just in case we'll say potential we'll say potential at bg i brought the brown dunks says larry g there we go lime says all good at jonathan um rep says bars are fire uh, Geronimo says that BG cakes. Those are so good, bro. Um, ate those as a kid in uh Portugal. Nice, 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 nice. Those things are so good. Hazelnut and chocolate. Oh, so you guys already had them before. Okay, I guess it's not chocolate. It's hazelnut. My apologies. It's like a. Yep. It's pretty much like a Nutella bar. I'm gonna start practicing my, all my 2K skills, bro. As you guys should. I keep telling you guys. I'm going to leave it out there. I'm going to leave it out there. If you guys are good in 2K. If you guys want to wager. A pair of sneakers. Or some money for the family. For a giveaway. Again it doesn't have to be for me. Because I don't need it whatsoever. It's most. It's mostly for having fun. And trying to donate for the channel. If you guys are up for it. We can definitely do a wager. When it comes down to 2K or UFC 4. If you guys are actually good, if you guys really do think that you guys can take it, take a chance. You guys should definitely run it up with your boy. Winner gets the match. Uh, the ma uh, we'll match. We'll match. So whatever you guys put up as a wager, I'll match it. Then we can go at it strong. If you guys lose, you guys donate to the channel for whatever it is that we're wagering. And then if I lose, then I'll just donate whatever it is to your um, you know, just for you guys or whatever it is. Um, well, not for you guys, but that winner so pretty much the winner will be going away with the with the w and if that winner loses or if that uh person that i'm wagering loses he pretty much donates towards the channel so that's what i was thinking yesterday i'm like hey let's have some fun i am pretty really i am pretty good if you guys think that you guys are even better so go ahead and try to try, uh, try to go at it i know for a fact that some of you guys do play but um it's just up there if you guys do want to try Again, I'm going to be doing challenges with Christian. Me and Christian are going to be probably going to be on the stream someday and just going to be going at it strong on 2K or uh, or on UFC 4. Winner gets a free pair of shoes. Legit. If you guys can beat me or Christian, winners will get free pairs of shoes and that'll be it. No no, uh, no strings attached, no nothing. Uh, you guys will not have to put up anything. It's just getting up in here and just try to do what you guys do best on your guys' video game skills. If you guys win, you guys get free pairs of shoes and we'll do a giveaway right then and there. It'll be like a whole day stream too. We'll try to run it up as long as possible. Uh, let's see. Went on fire. Uh, man, those things are bomb, bro. They are really good, man. Scale of 1 to 10, what would you guys rank these? I think these are a solid like 9. I'll give them a 9, man. I don't know what a 10 st uh, tastes like, man. I'm not so sure. Thank you guys so much for the likes, guys. Appreciate you guys for 133 thumbs up. You guys are amazing. Mr. Old School, what's going on, man? He says, good morning, BG and family members. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Casey says, free pairs of Lost and Founds. I'll, I'll place up a free pair of Lost and Founds. What's up with it? I'll place it. If you guys can match that, I'll place it. If you guys do want to wager up, let's do it. Let's make it happen. That's how confident we are, man. Wayne says, hey, BG, did you hear anything? Uh, let's see. Here they're trying to stay if the Chiefs and Bulls play in the AFC title game that it be played on neutral site since they canceled the Buffalo and Cincinnati game. I'm not so much familiar with the news on, U um, I said UFC, on NFL right now. When all, on, the only thing I do know about um, the whole situation with Buffalo and the Cincinnati game, uh, Cincinnati game is that the dude that ended up having that type of, uh, you know, Whatever did happen, I'm not so sure if it was like a stroke or a heart attack or, you know, the dude, the kid that dropped. I can't recall his name. I'm pretty sure he woke up. I'm pretty sure he woke up and, um, you know, he's he's good right now from what I, from what I, from my understanding. So uh, that's a blessing to hear that, man. That would suck. It would suck to see something like that happen. But I think he woke up. 
and I think he's good. I'm almost certain he's pretty good, man. It looks it looks like he's gonna make a return pretty soon. What did you guys hear anything about it? I can't recall this guy's name. Again, I'm not so much tapped in on a uh, football like that. A fall block says cardiac arrest. Okay, there you guys have it on that. I wasn't sure if it was like a heart attack or something, but. There you guys go, guy. Seven more minutes to see what the vibes are on that. Um, Let's see. George says lost and founds popped up on sneakers. Sold out. Check the stock. Says George. Hold up. I'm not seeing anything on lost and founds, though. But if they were, what sizes? You guys see anything on your end? Hmm. Nothing, guys. See some fire reds, though. Some fire reds in the size 3 and the size 4. This is from, like, the last shock drop, huh? Can't believe they still have these up in here. Damar Hamlin. There we go. Lost and molded ones. Chief and Bulls. Chief and Bills. Let's see. Guys, if you guys have more questions, drop them. No strings attached, but uh, they come with laces. Yes? Question mark. Yes, Rob. Of course. No strings attached. Oh, my God. You guys are hilarious. Let me see real quick if there's anything that I have to look forward to other than that... Um, other than that, sneakers pass now. There we go. Here we go. Bump, bump, bump. Thank you guys so much for showing that love and support once again, guys. Here we go. Oh, snap. Okay. I keep forgetting to mention this. All right, guys. So uh, once it does strike at 10 or like 10, uh, I will say like 10.05, I do have that TikTok for you guys. So if you guys do end up following me up on TikTok, if you guys do smash the like button on the next video that I drop, like legit, I'm going to drop it as soon as it touches like 10 one. Um, I'll drop you guys the link right here and you guys can definitely run it up on that TikTok short. Um, it's going to give you guys a chance of getting some entries for our next giveaway this month. And of course, you guys got to make sure you guys follow Forever Young as well because she is going to be providing the sneakers for us. And we're close to getting her to 152, man. That's pretty freaking dope on that. Obviously, there's no benchmark or anything like of that sort for her to get up 150, but I am trying to get her up to 150 at least for getting us free sneakers and pretty dope sneakers, to be honest, um, uh, and uh, making it happen for us. So let's see. Bop, bop on that. There you guys have it on that. That's forever young for you guys in case you guys aren't needing that. Thank you guys so much once again. Wayne, appreciate you for tapping in. Love you all. All love and support up in here. Jerry says, um, where did Lost and Founds drop yesterday? Lost and Founds pretty much dropped on Snipes. Anything good dropping today? Nothing good. Nothing crazy, that is. Nothing crazy. Chris Medina says, anything good happening today, BG? Like I said before, other than a sneakers pass, potentially. Well, I guess we'll have to see. If there is a sneakers path for the Chicago 2s today, would you guys go for them? Would you guys go for them if there was a sneakers pass? Or if there is a sneakers pass, I should say? It would definitely just be for the personal I feel like. Uh, Wilmer says, looks like, uh, Lost and Founds was, uh, there on sneakers. It seems like, wait, really? Because I can't find them. In stock. I don't see anything on that sort. If you guys did see them, can you guys take a screenshot? Apparently, Lost and Founds on sneakers app. There's three minutes left, by the way, guys. Okay. Did you guys ever check out? I'm not I'm not seeing anything of that. Nothing. No one hit on loss of founds yesterday in profitable size. Don't worry, says Swift twenty four. Yeah. Wilmer uh says C link. I can't see the link, uh Wilmer. You might have to DM me on Instagram for it. 
You might have to DM me on Instagram for any links so I can see it for myself on there. Unless you guys are on mod, you guys can drop links because we won't be able to see it. I think Lost and Founds will drop next week. Says uh, Junior, you think so? Guess we'll have to see, man. Again, no men sizes have been available for us, man. It doesn't seem like it. Bam, bam, what's going on, man? He says, good morning, BG Kicks. What's goody? What you eat for uh, dinner slash breakfast? I hope you had a great and productive day. Any sneaker release updates um, that you're interested in going for? Question mark. Let me get back to modding. As far as for that, man, I just had this Bueno Bar. Pretty freaking dope. Um, and then any other drops that I'm looking forward to for this month would probably be some good old pandas. And not to mention, damn, if there's any, I might. Those bad bunnies do look kind of slick in my opinion. I might end up going for Bad Bunnies, too. Let's see. Um, Somebody cap. I don't see none. Says what's up. Yeah, I don't see anything on my, on my side, either. They're at the bottom of the screen, says Wilmer. They're at the bottom of the screen. How the hecky heck? I'm not seeing anything on my end, either. At the bottom of the screen. Let's see. Yeah, no. Oh, snap. He is on point. But this might have been the drop from uh, from a while ago, though. This might have been the first drop from a while back. This is what he's talking about. Damn, why do they still got this up here? This is probably from a while back, though. What do you guys think? He, did, he was on point with the look. If you guys go all the way at the bottom of the screen, though. Hold up, what about these Canyon Purple 4s? Sold out. This might have, this might be because it's... Why is it like that? Are they usually like this? Do they usually pop them up? Look, here they are one more time. Ne uh, never was there, says Wilmer. Did this just... Did this just pop up? Has that always been there? Holy shiz. Hold up. Has anyone seen past drops? Maybe I think so, man. That's old. Gotta be. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna get ready to drop this TikTok for you guys for the one time. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, here we go. I'm getting ready for this pop. And then I'm going to set up the caption. And once I drop it, again, guys, if you guys do comment and like on it, you guys will get a possibility of an entry for our next giveaway for this month. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Bop. Perfect. Then we use some hashtags. We got hashtag sneakerheads, hashtag funny, hashtag hypies, hashtag sneaker news. All right, we're setting things up. We're setting things up right now. Sneakers, hashtag sneakers, hashtag sneakerhead. Okay, that's pretty much it, man. All right, guys, so I'm going to drop this TikTok for you guys. But before I do that, is this old? It's little BG Vert. I look every day. Wasn't there last night, says Wilmer. I never was there in the app 20 times a day, says Ames. I think they just archived them there, says Ray. Yeah, I never seen these up in here. I don't usually check, though. That's the thing. I don't usually check all the way at the bottom. Usually, typically, I just see it from the top right here, and then that's it. Because if you guys... Yeah. But here, it says load more. And then if I look around, there... There's just drops that we've been seeing for a while. Even the Cortezes, look. You see the core. Oh, but they're still in stock, though. Cortezes are still in stock. That's why they're still there. Oh, shiz. All right. Well, we'll definitely have to see on that, man. Okay. But yeah, this is where Canyon Purples are still there. Um, but they're sold out and then you guys got lost and founds loaded, but I don't know, man. Hashtag the final boss. Hey, BG. Good morning. Um, let's see. 
Um, am I entered for this giveaway this month? Yeah, Quentin. If you're still if you're still a member, yeah, you should be able. But um, regardless of that, man, this is gonna be free entries for the giveaway, anyways. I'm gonna actually drop the post right now. I'm gonna drop the post right now, and then we'll be. Oh snap! I think I might have uh did it incorrectly though. Hold up. Did I drop it again in private? I gotta drop it like where it's actually. Hold up. Oh, yeah, I dropped it in private again. One more time, one more time. Sorry, guys. Okay, more. How the heck do I copy and paste? Okay, guys, so I'm going to drop you guys the TikTok, and I'm going to place it up. Um, We'll do... How do I make it where it's available to everyone to see? Okay. One more time. Here we go. Last time. Now I'm going to drop it for you guys. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Okay. Okay. Making sure that it's for everyone to see. Do, do, do. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to drop it for you guys, and I'm going to drop you guys the link. Thank you, guys, for your patience. Now, who can watch this? Everyone. Now, I'm going to post it. Um, Wilson says, yo, BG, Cool Kicks are letting people pre-order Jordan 3s for 360. Is it worth it? Which, which Jordan 3s, though? Which Jordan 3s, though? Here you guys go, guys. This is the post. This is the TikTok in case you guys do want to run it up. This is it. If you guys want to run it up, this is a free chance of a giveaway for you guys. So let me drop you guys this TikTok right here. I'm going to refresh it up and I'm dropping you guys. If you guys do like it up and comment on it, that could be a chance for a giveaway entry right then and there. I'm going to be choosing a random video that I drop on TikTok for you guys. But here you guys go. Pop, copy, and I'm dropping it for you. That's it right there. All you guys have to do is follow me up on TikTok. And that's the show right there. Comment on it. Be active on it. And that would be amazing. Pin message right there for you guys. Good morning, guys. Now I can finally see the chat. Now I can finally see you guys doing your thing. Hold up. My apologies on that. Um, Let's see. Yo, BG. Cool kicks. I think I already read that. China's taking over the world slowly, but surely. I think already partners with the U.S. Dem uh, Democratic Party. Dot, dot, dot. Backrack says, yo, BG. Good morning. And chat. Um, hope everyone is having a great day. Uh, Cindy Clifford says, Dunk Lowe's wrist was just dropped on Wish ATL. Thank you so much for that, Cindy. I appreciate you guys. If you guys do have the links for it, drop it. As far as for uh, Rose Whispers, I think the last time I've seen those other than uh, Wish ATL is probably Chic App, which was like on New Year's Eve or something like that. It's been a minute since I haven't seen that. How's everything going with you, uh, Cindy? Happy New Year, by the way, if, um, if you haven't uh, tapped in. Um, Crypto says, TikTok is banned in India. Can't see. Ah, oh, it's tough. That's crazy. Um, has to be reimagined threes. Uh, those likely to go in crazy. Yeah. Gonna man be says good spanking morning. Lovely people. What is up, baby? But guys, I think that's pretty much it for today, man. I'm not going to be wasting too much of you guys' time. Um, there's not much going on from what it seems like. If there is going to be a, you know, if there is going to be a drop, a sneakers pass or of some sort, we will go live for it, I guess. Apparently Chicago twos potentially. Um, if there is something like that, we'll go live for it and we'll tap in with you guys and talk more about it, man. But from what it seems like, man, I think that's pretty much it, man. I think that's pretty much it. I dropped you guys the TikTok right there. Make sure you guys run it up real quick for the one time. Um, again, any entry up in there is free. So make sure you guys run it up. Legit free entries for our giveaway for this month. So you guys cannot go wrong with that. Um, again, I see you guys later on today. If there is anything happening of a sneakers pass. But, um, yeah, love you guys so much, man. I appreciate you guys for tapping in, man. I do go by the name of BG Kicks, and we'll see you guys very freaking soon. Love you guys, man. Thank God it's Friday. I'll see you guys later soon. Love you guys. Peace. Let's get it.